And moving on, new evidence has emerged that shows the Japanese government acknowledged decades ago that its claims to the Korea-controlled Dokdo Island were not worth taking to the International Court of Justice as it is pushing to do now. Despite this, the current Abe administration in Japan continues to threaten to take the case to The Hague. Our UDN has the details. A secret government report dating back to 1962 shows Japan knew back then that its claim to the Korea-controlled Tokyo Island was not a case that could be brought to the International Court of Justice. In the report recently released by a civic group in Japan, Tokyo's Ministry of Foreign Affairs said the Tokyo issue cannot be categorized as an international dispute, as it arose before Japan announced its compulsory jurisdiction over the island in 1958. The document added that territorial disputes only apply between countries that claim compulsory jurisdiction, but since Korea did not, it said the Tokyo issue cannot be deemed a territorial dispute. The transcript of a closed-door meeting between the then director of the Central Intelligence Agency of Korea, Kim Jong-pil, and former Japanese Prime Minister Hayato Ikeda in 1952 has also been made public. Ikeda told Kim that the issue should be left alone since Korea is effectively in control of Tokyo Island. This document proves Japan is making its claim while it knew from the very beginning that it was completely unjust. The civic group wants to bring lawsuits against the Japanese government to make public documents related to bilateral talks between Korea and Japan to bring light to historical facts. Yurian, Arirang News.